you can see this is the color which is over here and this is the color which is applied all over here but due to different in texture it is gaining different value scale like this one you can find over here okay and the darker shade of this is over here now coming to this this portion here you are seeing plain color all over the single color over this texture but here you are seeing darker shade black and then you are seeing peach okay here also on texture this is more textured here also you are seeing blackish over here and then a light highlighted color over here and then a brownish color over here you know like we saw on the face highlights are there you can see highlights over here highlight over here why it is happening because this is reflecting light these surfaces facing towards this side is reflecting light and surfaces on the right and left side is darker due to the shade so this is how same color is applied all over the texture but due to being more textured okay light play of light and shadow is happening and reflectiveness is happening and hence the change in value appears okay whereas coming to the our flat surface an even surface you can see there is no change in value of the color the color is same but among these surfaces there is one surface metallic or glossy let's see flat and even you are getting single tone single hue but here you are getting different hue how you are getting this can you see the same thing happening on the j shetty's shirt the shirt is of single color okay this is a screenshot from j shetty's podcast with kendall jenner and uh, texture color everything in design is all around you everything you're watching or anything it's all around you you think the j j is wearing the same color shirt the color is even all over here but still you can see darker shade of this green why it is happening it is happening due to the glossy texture and the shiny texture of the shirt look when the texture changed it automatically changed the color from this to this okay and so on the value scale when you'll see this will come on the darker shade of the green this will come on the lighter shade or the mediocre tone of the green okay this is shade and this is tone of the green and this is glossy and shiny texture so on glossy and shiny texture due to reflectiveness the color is not of even tone okay it is more reflective but it is not always more brighter sometimes it may also appear darker okay due to the contour being formed on the surface it's a plain surface but the shirt the material is flowy so due to flow contour is being formed that is creating a play of light and shadow so here the color is changed and this the same thing happens in architecture the same thing is happening over here one single color but this is how things are changing due to the reflectiveness of light uh, to be more clear how your eyes are bluffed look at this this is a plain wall okay it's a reflective surface the surface is reflective and since it also appears to be glossy to me plus it appears to be metallic to me i don't know it is all three or not how i am saying it i am saying it on the base of visual texture i'm sorry for the background noise i'll shut it down now you are able to see that this is also a surface and somehow light is traveling downwards but still light is there and it if it this surface would have been reflective a bit of change or highlight you must have seen but there is no highlight on the ceiling okay 
whereas here you are seeing highlights like you are seeing highlights over here highlights over here and the reflectiveness is there so are you able to see the change in color change in the value of color here it is whitish here it is dark gray okay here this color is equal to this color and this is a different element and different texture but this color is matches this color whereas this color is more sort of the color of the jacket over here it's the same single plane but different colors okay and this is part of design if you think that you have designed a surface and you have put the lightings over there it's just reflecting no it's a thoughtful part that how color there are different ways a color is changed in a showroom this is a monochromatic design which is not monotonous you know single color all over the place but if you see it is dark dark to light happening can you see this low value to high value you seeing dark gray over here and here you are seeing light gray or i must say white okay so this is how this is a monochrome design but can you see the color has changed this is a very genius thing designers do and only few designers have this capability when a mediocre mind a normal client will go into a showroom what will the client say the showroom was entirely gray but it is not actually entirely gray if it would have been entirely gray of the same value it would have been boring but it is it is of the same chrome but not same value now also understand this that how different colors uh, how the different values of the same color has been achieved is not a same way of not of mixing white to the color it's also putting light when we put light and we played with the texture when we played with the texture we got two color in the single plane in the single plane we are getting one and two two colors with the play of texture we made this texture reflective again with the play of texture on the on the ceiling we get one color and constant color so this is how you get this color and to 